Hi guys, this is Deb coming at you, and I gotta have a drink of my Coke. I am doing this video for, let me tell you who. First, this is an announcement. I will not, I will be extending my challenge for one week because I still have several coming in. One from Cap Crafty Kim, one from Deb Hoke. I can't remember who the other one's from. So, I am going to hold it over till the 25th, and we will draw on the 26th and see who our winners are, and that's as far as I'm extending it, because I don't like doing that, because I don't like for you all to have to wait. But this video here is for... Let me find their name on here. It's a new subscriber, and she's been looking at the modes. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to show you all something I made, too. Nails and glitter on here. No, glitters and paint, I think. I'll tell you for sure. But, beautiful lady. She does a lot of uh, crafting for uh, tea time and dolls I think is okay come on I know I have this uh, it's paints and glitter is her name she has a beautiful channel you all need to go over and show her some YouTube love but this video is to show Miss E. Johnson Woodson how I do my modes. I don't do nothing special with them, but right there, she wanted to know if I would do another video and show how I do them. So, without further ado, I, I haven't made none in a while, so this is like fun to me. What I use is the Polymore Air Dry Clay. That's what I use. And I I just pinch it off. I mean, I do, uh, I guess it'd be called knead it a little bit in my hands to get it, you know, just a little bit softer so I can cut, uh, cut it off. Or I mean, this is easy, I think. I don't know how to get this up high enough. Let's see. No, not quite. Maybe if we lay it down a little bit more. There. You don't need to see my ugly old mug anyway. <laughs> I love that idea. But all I do is pinch it off and... I force it down in there. I mean, you don't got to do a lot of forcing. And I always, I mean, at, once I get it in there, I can take the excess out by running my finger over it. And then you just make sure it's in every little crick and cranny. I will tell you this, though. The little ones are a lot harder to work with because on the big ones here I have found that I can put a little bit of pressure on these and pull these out carefully and just lay them on a plate and let them dry like so Yeah, well, it's easy, see? And I got my dress form. And then I just, I've got paper plates I've been using. And I just lay them on my plate like that. And I let them dry for about 24 hours. I mean, because if you don't, then you're not going to get too far with it. Because you can't paint them or nothing. But once they dry, 
You can paint them. You can do what you want. This is a crown one. I don't think I've done this one yet because I don't rem I don't remember it. But let's put that up there. We're gonna try it and see. I mean, they're not hard to do. It's just my boys say takes too much time, Mom. And they ha, check this out. They're boys, but they don't like to get dirt on their hands. No, they're constantly, I call them the little germaphobes because I won't wash my hands till I get completely done with this. But every time they get a little bit on their hands that don't come off, they got to run and wash their hands. And I keep telling them, every time you get your hands wet, you have to start over because that's the way it is. But they don't see it that way. I don't know if this one will be able, if I can't pull them out, I just let them set in the modes. Some of them I leave in the modes like the purse die here. I don't think I can pull that out. Some of them I will leave in the modes 24 hours. I mean, I, and I have a bunch of different modes. Some of the ones that I have found hard to work with are my uh, cherub angels. And uh, these right here, <laughs> the little flourishes. I do not care, I love them, but I do not care for making them because they are so, you break them getting them out. And like this one here, let me just pull it on out and show you. You have to get Play-Doh over in the handle of that first. And that gets to be a little challenging because if you don't get enough in there, when you go to pull it out, it breaks. So you you know, you just it's you just got to play with it and see. I think that might be enough in there. I don't know, but we'll see. The boys say you would think. As many of these as you've made, you would done know exactly how much you need. No, you never know. I just push them till they're full. Now these, I'm not even going to try to mess with pulling them out. And probably not the crowns neither because they just, with the, having points and like the little handles on the bags, I'm scared I'll break them and I don't like redoing stuff, I guess. I don't know. But there's those. Now I will leave them for 24 hours and I'm going to leave these. I mean, I'll come back and check them. I mean, I check them all the time. These right here, oh Lord, these are a problem because I mean it, when you're pulling that to fill in one spot it'll lift up from your other spot and I don't like that I don't have the patience to sit see it sticks to your finger and yeah this one here I mean I do it I get them done but I don't like doing these I keep saying I'm gonna send this one to sis but I haven't <laughs> I've sent sis several of them. She, she's got the patience, I think. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I deal with the kids. She deals with the, doing the craft things and yeah. On these, yeah, you hear me, I pound them. There we go. See that? There's a little. This is the one. It is really hard because there's little places, grooves in there that they want you to. Okay. There's that one. These I definitely leave in there. I don't even mess with these till 
at least 24 hours because you see how it comes up if you go right back across it uh, once I get one in there I try not to go nowhere near it because uh, it just keeps coming back out and it frustrates me really bad my son Logan he's really patient with this stuff and he keeps saying mom just uh, do it and then uh, wait till it dries a little and go back and do it but I still pull them out of there so I don't like messing with these but I do when I you know want them on a page or something I will mess with them don't like it but I do it I like this one this is like a leaf hey buddy what are you doing wait you want some more just a minute grab me get you some more Xander's sitting over he's eating some kind of puffs I do not they've made baby all kinds of food anymore and I don't think I'd eat it if I was a baby I'd be looking at them saying are you crazy would you eat this <laughs> this is what he's eating they're called puffs here you go let me give you a couple more there you go love you okay that's all I'm doing on them and then I have see I'll let those set I ain't even messing with them here I have the Eiffel Tower now that one's not too bad look and this is one that I can actually do like the dress once I get this in there and I don't know if it's I don't know why some dyes you can work real good with and this is one of them see it takes right to the mode and don't come out mm. you better eat them don't put them don't throw them down because then mammy has to throw them away Now see, that one's pretty, yeah, had a little bit too much in it, but that one's pretty good, and I mean, after about a couple minutes, you can pull this one right on out and lay them on the chair, or on the plate to dry, see, but for the most part, I, I give them, most of them, except for my dress forms, a couple hours, this is another little dress form here. I got my chair here I can show you. This one here, you can pull it. I think what it is, is the solid pieces. I think, you know, they just hold better. And you can pull them right out and just lay them on a plate. And I think this is one of them I did that way. Let's see. Yep. That's what it looks like. And then this here, look at this. I thought this was a flower when I got it because it looks like a rose on a stem. And I thought, oh, this one's going to be horrible, but it ain't a flower at all. It is a cherub. And this is one I pound because I want to make sure I'm getting it in all the little grooves, the wings, and... Mm. Come on, get in there. Is it good? Is it good? I 
I got, if you all can tell, I got this stuff popping off and hitting me in the head. <laughs> now, I have this one, I don't know. I don't think I can pull this one. I think this one is a hard one, and we had to leave it set, too. Where's the wing at? But I do, like I said, pound on it and get it down in there because it gets air bubbles in them. And the more you pound it, I mean, you work them out. Let's see. That's the little chair of angel. But that's how I do them. And then, like I said, I mean, I just let them wait. I just wait and let them uh, hold up, and it works. I mean, it works out great. Okay, guys, the next thing I was going to show you is paints and glitter on here. I bought, I saw some of her videos, and I've been wanting to make some of the embellishments she made, like the little shakers, the little clocks and stuff. Look at that. That's the Tim Holtz die. Uh, movers and shakers I think that's the clock and then I didn't make this a shaker but look at that that is the uh, little camera that you get the clock and the camera both as a set and I made these let me tilt you back up and I thought they really come out cute now she made them with gorgeous girls and I got gorgeous girls coming I'm waiting on them so I will try those too. And that is my video. And like I said, we're going to extend this uh, challenge till the 25th. And then I'll call it the day or so right after. And I hope this helps you out, honey. Uh, like I said, it's, they're very easy to do. I can't wait. I want to get a lot more of them and, I mean, make my own, and I love them. So I will get off of here, and I will talk to you all soon. I love you all. God bless, and bye-bye.